Hi guys, it's Nathan Slan, and today I want to show you how I get this big castle all to myself in Ireland. Uh, this is close to a little town called Drogheda, and it's 45 minute drive north of Dublin. And welcome to Petit Paradise Studios. So this is the Drummond Tower. It was built by Victor Drummond de Lapt in 1858 for his belated mother. And recently, the current owner renovated this place and made it into accommodation for both international and national tourists coming to this little town called Drogheda. It's 45 minute drive north of Dublin. So follow me inside to see the castle. It's a really small place with four story. So each room gonna be on each store is a uh, floor. So on the ground floor, we walk in into a country style uh, style kitchen. And this is the original brick. So this brick absorb a lot of heat. So when you stay here, Make sure that you turn the heater on and close the curtain because it takes a long time for the whole tower to uh, be warm up. If you're here in the winter like I am right now in January. These doors are really heavy even though they look really little. It's impressive to have this big range. It's such a little kitchen. So now we're gonna walk upstairs to the second room but first I have to take up my shoes because I don't want to drag dirt to the whole place okay let's go so as you see right here you have to be really careful because the stairs was from the 1858 and it's really narrow it's a spiral stairs on the side of the castle and uh, on this side right here, you see there's another entrance. I think this used to be the main entrance of the castle. And the entrance to the kitchen that I that we went, just went to is the back door. Okay, so follow me up here. Ta-da! This is the living room or the library. I love how they decorate this place with the uh, industrial chic kind of leather sofa on both sides uh, even though I think they should have Netflix here and a bigger television uh, come in here look at all the windows I wouldn't mind having this view for my home all the trees and the countryside and they left they leave a lot of books here for you to read is the bedroom. I would like, usually I don't like this kind of country side furniture, but for this setting, it's fit here perfectly. And I love the look of these uh, old heater that run on oil. And they have two of each uh, in both, in each room on every floor. And look, the way that they did this bathroom is really nice. It's narrow, but because of the window, there's enough light to go in. So it's really comfortable in here. Uh, make sure you bring a lot of food if you decide to stay here for more than one or two days because there's no grocery store around here. Unless, well, unless you have a car, grocery store only 10 minutes away on call, which is about two hour walk. That's 9.5 kilometer from here. And I, I used, 
I walked a kilometer before and it took me two hours. So if you don't have a car, make sure you get things that you can be fed here. There's nothing around, only sheep and farms. I don't even see farmers around here. So that's how serious it is. <laughs> so that's it for the bedroom. Let's follow me on uh, to the top floor. It's gotta be my favorite place in the whole tower. You have food, bring it up here, have a picnic with your loved ones or your friends. But make sure that when you have friends coming over, you have to let the owner know how many people are gonna stay here because or else they will leave, ask you to leave immediately. Because they love this place and they expect you to treat this place like your own home. So give them some respect. And if you have friends over, just let them know. I can smell the sheep up here. Wow, I think half of the moon is still out. It's actually, I'll correct myself, it's not half the moon still out. Half of the moon is coming out because around 4 p.m. here. So the sun is setting and the moon is already out. Is that amazing? Just get really, get, it's gonna get dark really, really quick here in the countryside. Look at that view. It's just amazing what a view that you have up here. Right behind me is a gate uh, to the Drummond Tower. And at this point, right here, it's a kilometer from Drogheda. Okay, that's a little town close to the tower. See if there's no car, we can cross. Let's go. So when you have a car, or you have a taxi that take you here, you can drive through this gate and all the way up to uh, the property. Isn't that pretty? This is the countryside in Ireland. I can smell cow poop and sheep poop from here. I know, I haven't told you the most important thing in this video, how to find this place to get your accommodation here in Ireland. So I booked this place on Airbnb. It took me almost one day searching for accommodation, special, unique uh, accommodation throughout Dublin to find this place. So it's gonna save you time, now you can book direct. Go to Airbnb, and this place costs about $134 to $280 a night, depends on where you book, uh, when you book it. And I got the cheapest price for January 2nd to January 4th. It's 134 per night. Uh, and we're about to be here. And they also have their own website called drummondtower.com. However, I went on the website and it seems like you have to email them to book for the accommodation. And they don't have availability uh, table for you to look at. And this place is fully booked until August 2020. So make sure if you want to stay here, book way, way in advance. It's really popular. Oh. So that's the owner and her kid. Just come in. So uh, usually there's a keypad here. If you drive, there's a keypad here for you to get in, but the gate's already open, so we just walk in. Isn't that amazing? You have your own gate. The second gate is to your own property. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. That's the owner's dog, they just running around. So when you get to the tower, there's a, a tower book, the manual will tell you about the towers and this property. It says that you will meet the owner's dogs and they will kill you with their kindness. <laughs> 
and I saw you saw three of them. Uh, there's a few more. <laughs> they will run to you and then jump on you. So when you to get to this uh, intersection right here, you will see that the sign to go to the Drummond Towers right here. But first, I want to tell you on the other side, right about here, it's the owner property. So they build a house and they actually live here. Uh, and on the other side is the tower. That's so scary. <laughs> By looking at the visitor book, I think they bought and renovated this place and started this accommodation in 2017. But uh, I'm not really sure. This is a Drummond Tower. So next time when you go to Ireland, especially if you go to Dublin, make sure to book an accommodation here for at least one or two days to the countryside and just to relax in this uh, wonderful accommodation. Is what I did was I took a bus from Dublin, bus 901 or 101 from Dublin to Drogheda. But don't go all the way to town center because this is outside town and drop and it will drop you off at the first station in Drogheda and then get a taxi. Or if you have an app, it's like Uber, it's called Free Now. That's the app, that's the Uber app in Ireland. And you can get a taxi to take you here, it's about 10 minute drive and it costs about 20 to 30 euro. Uh, it cost me 19 something euro yesterday. And okay, one more thing guys, I let you go. So I mentioned that you have to get food before you get here. You can either get food from Dublin and take all that food here to the tower or when you get dropped off from the bus, there's a big grocery store called, what was it called? Lit, L-I-D-T or something like that in Drogheda town. It's a big grocery store, uh, just like Walmart. And uh, make sure you get food before you get on that taxi to get here. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoy this episode and know where to book the Drummond Tower to stay in uh, where, on your next trip to Ireland. And uh, where, did, where did she go? Up there. Okay, she went up there. Okay, bye guys. And again, this is Nathan's Land. Thank you for watching a video from Petite Paradise Studio Production. And I'll see you in the next episode. And that's it for my trip in Ireland for Christmas 2019 and 2020. Ciao.